Hey everyone, this is for an HP Color LaserJet M451 and this is for an error code, error code 59.c0 and then this other symptoms if you don't get the 59 error would be the um, uh, calibrations keep running and you can tell right here that that was the solenoid that kept sticking so I'm just going to speed up the disassembly process. I mean, just take off the top cover. And the solenoid is located right on the right-hand side of the machine if you're standing, if you're looking at it from the front. So top cover, rear cover, and the right side cover needs to come off. And then right at this point, you can actually access and see the solenoid itself. Now, this is a quick fix. Ultimate fix would be to replace the solenoid, but since it's such in a deep area, we are just gonna do a quick fix so that it does not stick uh, any longer. As, as you can tell, I'm using a flathead screwdriver here and acting as if the solenoid is engaging and creating a magnetic force that pulls that metal plate towards the the main body of the solenoid and you can see that it's spring loaded and it is sticking to the main base of the solenoid because of the deteriorated sponge that's located between those two plates so there's there's adhesive that gets all tacky then the sponge gets all tacky itself causing these two plates to stick to each other causing timing issues in the transfer process now what I like to use is um, whatever I have in my tool case which is right here I got a little just a simple label with a sticky back so uh, something like an Avery label or even like a UPS label or something like that but you can use some people use is um, like a electrical tape I've used that a couple of times I've even used I think um, like heavy-duty like scotch tape or packing tape but whatever I have available, um, any kind of sticky back uh, that can that can act as a um, quick fix to to prevent those two plates from sticking. And basically, what I'll what I'll do is I'll just peel the backing off of this label, and um, it will cover up those stickiness in that solenoid for now. So I'm just giving a quick measurement of what it looks like it's like things like 15 millimeters um, by 15 millimeters and I'm gonna just slide this in between those two plates in the in the solenoid to prevent it from sticking to each other so I use this um, forceps or this um, tweezers uh, to get that in there um, and you just need to be really careful careful because you don't want to dislodge that plate that spring loaded plate on that solenoid it's not fixed on there secure securely so it can pop out of its hinge and socket and you don't want to um, pop that um, solenoid and that solenoid plate off of its off of its hinge so I try to get it in there in between as much as I can over those sticky tacky adhesive um, that's deteriorated and so this acts like a um, I guess like an insulation from that deteriorated dampening sponge material so basically what the sponge is for is just to prevent uh, a lot of noise on that two plates as the solenoid engages and the that sponge over time gets gets worn out and just tacky like like any old sponge in those solenoids that's been going on in these HP printers all the way back to like the 3SI old older printers so now I'm just going to use my flathead screwdriver and test and simulate engaging that solenoid and seeing if the plates will stick it looks like it's not sticking and it it is coming back properly and, and not sticking to the um, the base of the solenoid anymore. So that's a quick fix. I mean, of course, obviously, you you know, for a, um, a complete fix, you can take out the solenoid, clean it out, even put in a new solenoid. Um, but I think this works for now. Um, these printers are getting older, so there's parts that are super limited. 
and if you've got a lot of toner or supplies for this printer you can actually prolong the life by just doing something simple like that and just a quick disassembly I did take out the transfer belt you don't need to take out the transfer belt I just need, wanted to make sure and and see if the transfer belt um, was looking okay and it did look okay so I pulled it out but um, in order to do this repair you don't need to pull out the um, the ITB transfer belt sliding the drum you don't even have to take out the drum as well so I, had to, I just took it out just for inspection so we're gonna plug it in and then we'll test and see if this transfer belt solenoid works so basically we're getting calibrations that will la were lasting forever like even when you first turn on the machine it keeps calibrating calibrating keeps running and then sometimes it'll throw that 59 error code 59.c0 um, as soon as you turn the machine on so right here is a supply status page look like that's good and coming up next I think I, I believe is the configuration page so Yep, this is the fix for the 59.co and um, please um, like it if you like this video, if it helps you out. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.